Okay, so I'm inside of Google Earth. This is Google Earth Pro. This is the software that you download. This is not the web-based version of Google Earth um, that you would view in a browser. This is Google Earth Pro that you would download. It's free to download and it has a lot more features than the web-based version. So, as you can see in here, I've got some trails, some tracks already done in here on Potholes Reservoir. And you can see these trails and tracks maintain visibility um, no matter what time period I'm using. So if I click on my little time icon, historic imagery icon, okay, what I want to do is start with that shallowest water image that I have available for the body of water that I'm looking at. So in the case of uh, Potholes Reservoir, I'm looking back at the September 6, 2012 image. And I'm going to start from from the back and work out here and, and build a new trail here. And I've got this section right here on the west side that I don't really have any any kind of trail or drain mark for. I know that these two, this red one and this this blue one, these are two main channels that, that feed this west side of, of potholes. But I've got another section here that I know drains out somewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the back. Okay, and I'm going to start here. I've got this pocket of water that is going to drain somewhere and probably run into one of those other major trails. So I'm going to pick an area here. I'm going to pick my path, add path icon here and I gotta start with the name so in this case I'm going to name this um, far west okay I'm gonna pick a color for that line I'm gonna go with a green color and the 2.0 width is, is about right you can pick any color you want any width you want all right, now I'm not going to close this out and hit OK yet. I'm just going to leave this this open here because you see my little my little uh, mouse cursor has turned into a kind of a crosshairs thing. So if I've got a scroll wheel on my mouse, I can scroll in and I can zoom in and out this way. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to move up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mark here. And I'm just going to place a trail in here. Google Earth calls it a path, but I'm going to call it a track or a trail. And again, using my arrow keys, I can move left and right. And using my, the wheel on my mouse, I can zoom in and out. And I'm looking for where this, where this water is going to drain or where it's going to fill. Now there might be several paths that this can come in and out of here, but I'm looking for the main one. And one of the clues I can find is, is when I zoom in here, I see a beaver dam stretched apart there. And so I'm going to trust Mr. Beaver to know where that water, he needs to hold that water back and where the main, main drain is or channel is for that, that piece. I'm just get kind of a, a, a bigger view here, look and see where I want to, where is it looking like to me this thing's going to drain through. I've got kind of two ways I can go here. I can see that I can come through this way and then out through here. What I'm looking for is which, which route avoids this wider gray because the main drain is going to avoid that and I beaver huts are going to, or the beaver dams are going to clue me in on which way I need to go. So it looks like to me that this water is coming through, the bulk of it is coming through here. I've got a, a beaver dam here. So I'm going to call this my main drain. And so I'm going to come this way. 
with this this channel and now I've got another decision to make I'm gonna go ahead and get that off of here go back go back into properties actually let's drag this over here get it out of my way so come across this piece here you can see another beaver dam so I know and the more exact I make these trails the better and more reliable they're going to be in low water I'm probably not ever going to run this in the water as low as what this is showing but I've got another beaver dam there, so I know I'm on the right track with this. Now it's just a matter of, it's looking like this thing is going towards this main channel here. And so I'll kind of zoom out a little bit and see if I can see something that, and to me it looks like it's kind of straightforward, coming running down through here, and then out this way. And I can find fine-tune these a little bit here if I want to get really specific about how they run but that's pretty pretty close and so I'll hit OK and save that track and now another cool thing is actually play a tour of this trail here that I have and so it's gonna fly me in kinda to ground level and kinda give me uh, I guess a bird's eye view of, of what this what this is going to look like running out of here. And so it's a little bit of a virtual reality thing on, on what this looks like. So pretty neat, pretty neat features, really helpful. Uh, I can't tell you how helpful this has been for me in really being able to break down uh, a bigger body of water into smaller parts and then for me especially on a reservoir where you know understanding how the channel system feeds a reservoir and being able to travel um, by boat that way it can keep me in the deepest water the most navigable water it's also going to keep me around those deeper channels that the fish are using too so hope you liked it